hello I uh, purchased a new a new camcorder the Canon G40 and a uh, lapel mic wireless lapel mic and I wanted to test it out see how it sounds see the, the picture quality and the audio quality so I figured I would do a walk around of my uh, my son's 2014 Harley Davidson Super Low 1200T. So this is the bike. Um, like I said before, it's a Harley Davidson uh, Super Low 1200T. It's a 2014, um, and the T stands for touring. So what Harley did was they basically took a Sportster and made it into a little touring bike. Um, it's not a very big bike, so I wouldn't go touring too far on it, but it's nice. It comes with the saddlebags, and it comes with the windshield, um, and it's, um, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice bike. Um, I guess the biggest modification on this bike is the uh, Vance and Hines exhaust. Um, it's called the Big Radius 2, and that was added on at the dealership when the bike was purchased, and also the, uh, the bigger air kit with a nice chrome Harley-Davidson um, air cleaner cover and uh, matching uh, time, uh, timing cover. Um, the other thing that was added to the bike were the uh, floorboards, which are right there, okay? And they were also brought forward. The original uh, uh, rider pegs were here, came installed here, mid controls, and these are forward controls. It gives you a little more leg room if you're a little taller, um, and it's a small bike, so you want to get a little more leg room, you add the forward controls, um, and a lot of little stuff was added onto this bike. Um, the uh, passenger pegs were changed, that's not original. Um, the uh, belt guards, the upper and the lower belt guard was added on chrome. The ones that came with the bike were cheap little plasticky looking uh, belt guards. Um, if you come to the front of the bike, you have the uh, engine guard, which uh, some people call them crash guards, but that sounds too violent, so we'll call them engine guards. Um, I think some people call them crash bars, not crash guards. Also in the front here, we have the Daymaker LED headlights and the LED turn signals. Front axle bolt covers were added on, so you don't see the big giant bolt. Then you see a little Harley Davidson emblem. Um, come around this side, and I guess there's really not much going on. Um, you see the other floorboard. Um, the, uh, what was added here is the um, cigarette lighter adapter right there, which allows you to plug your heated gear in. Um, it allows you to plug battery tender um, when the temperature is cold like it is today. Um, we keep that battery tender on all the time. As you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty cold here. Um, as a matter of fact, there's uh, a little bit of snow on the ground. But spring is around the corner. What's up, bud? Uh, let's see. The other thing that we have is the uh, oh, is the LED speedometer was added on instead of the original speedometer. We have LED signal mirrors, which later on I'll start the bike and we'll see how those look. Got one there and got one there. Also hand wind guards, which kind of stops the wind, rocks, pebbles, dirt, anything from uh, flying up and hitting you in the hands while you're riding. But if you have gloves on, that's not really a big, a big problem. Coming to the back of the bike, you see we have LED uh, brake light and LED rear turn signals, um, a nice tall uh, sissy bar with a nice padded uh, rider backrest. I kind of like the, uh, the sissy bar, I think it gives the bike an old school look. Um, this bike also has the, um, to go along with the exhaust and the air kit, it has the uh, Vance and Hines Fuel Pack 3, which is plugged into the bike CPU. It stays on the bike all the time and it works through Bluetooth and communicates with your, uh, with your smartphone and allows you to make any kind of adjustments um, that the engine needs. Now I will start the bike so you have an idea of what it sounds like and we'll take a look at the LED uh, lights.
ਹੈ ਆ 